right, we have a lot of containers here. We're gonna make a choice here, and then we are going to make hot, hot air. air balloons, but technically they're not hair, hot air balloons. They will be helium balloons lifted. Now, Bear, what is the difference? Tell me about the difference here. Uh, I know the difference. The difference of the hot air balloon versus the helium balloon is helium balloons use helium uh, gas lighter than air that flows to get lifted. However, hot air balloons are a little more complicated. They use heated air. When the air molecules are heated, they spread around them. When they spread around, they got, they gain lifted. And hot air rises anyway. So when you put hot air inside a little container, it fills up and then the hot air lifts you up the ground. Here, get closer to the chart and then tell me the hot air balloon facts that we wrote Number down. Number one, air is made of matter. Yes, everything is made of matter. Everything that you can touch and feel. Matter air, takes up space. Air and all matter are made Molecules. Hot air oh. always rises. When you heat up hot air, the molecules start to spread out, which gains less. Which gains left. How the hot air balloon gets out is definitely pretty interesting. The pilot pulls a lever, which makes a flap in the envelope that's the part that holds the hot air open, letting the hot air rise out, which makes it go down. All right. So, all right, you picked your containers for your hot air balloon. It's really going to be a helium balloon. Bear, how many balloons do you think, helium balloons, just regular size, will it take to lift your hot air balloon? What is your estimate? How, how many grams does this weigh? Uh, I'm not sure. Just do it based on the weight in your hand. Mm. How, just take a Probably guess right now. Five normal balloons, you know, the free balloons that you get at source sometimes. Because I think this is 25 grams, and one of those balloons can lift one gram. I don't think it'll be that many. We can't buy that many. I was thinking about five, but what, what is your going to be your estimate? And we'll write it down. Well, my estimate is three. I, three. Okay. I think that's actually a good estimate. Willem, how many bo hot healing balloons do you think it will take to lift your hot air balloon? How many? Nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to be probably about three. That might be right. So... Oh, no, you put it in the wrong spot. That's okay. We can fix it. So the estimate for bears is three. For Willem, it is going to be nine. But bear, what does it say at the bottom here? How many helium balloons? Well, it takes 30,000 helium balloons, the free ones, to lift an adult. 15,000 15, to lift a kid and 4,000 to lift the baby like Odin. This is our estimate. All right, now we have to construct our hot air balloon baskets. And then we are going to go to Publix to actually buy our helium balloons. Okay, Bear, what are you doing right now? We decided instead of two, we would do four because I thought it would provide more stability for our basket. All right, let me help you. Oh, it's hard to get into plastic. structures that hold the string of which hold the helium balloons. Okay, next step here. Now we are decorating our hot air balloon, really helium, balloon baskets. But that's science and art. Sometimes things don't work the first time. In fact, usually they don't work the first time around. And that's how it is. Willem made a drop. Where are we going right now? And I think four, I think four each will be enough. But if it's not, we will do another trip. But I don't think more than that could actually fit in the truck. So here we go. Eight balloons in the name of science. Yes, eight balloons are not wasted. They, they're in the name of science. In the name of the science, things are never wasted. Hey, we made it back from Publix. How many helium balloons is it going to take in order to lift our helium hot air balloon? Four, there are eight balloons. Let's see. Are we ready for the science? Yes. All right, we're going to do one yes. at a time. Let's see if one balloon will lift the basket. Is one balloon strong enough? 
Oh! Alright, Willem, is two balloons enough? No, Willem! We need one more! Okay, now each hot air balloon basket has three balloons. Alright, is that enough to make it fly? It worked? You need another one. It's it. They got a little bit of float. They need one more each. All right, let's do number four. Okay, we have four balloons now on each hot air balloon. Wait, Willem, let me see yours. Okay, we have four balloons on each hot air balloon. Bear, you can go ahead and release and see what happens. It worked. Four balloons is what we needed to lift our hot air balloons off of the ground. And look, we have a safety weight. To make sure it does not float away. Yep. Oh. Let's see. All right, let's see Willems. Willems has a safety weight also to make sure the balloon, but it did lift the basket. So how many balloons each? Four. Experiments. We're putting one rock in at a time to see if it weighs it enough down. Balloon man. <laughs> Is it hitting a tree? <laughs> All right, let's let's bring it back down. Hours of fun with just balloons. I love it. One more look at our balloon. Well, it's a healing, but it's like a hot air balloon. See, there's our basket. We should put a little guy in that basket. It's gonna go in the water. It's just now breezing the water. That's true. Remember, it needs four to lift up, so it's still flying. It's still flying, though. The water, the string is getting wet, so does it weigh more when it's wet or less? It weighs more, so it's weighing it down. We're gonna have to bring it in. What do you think, Willem? So let's slowly bring it in. Slowly. Do it slowly so the basket doesn't go underwater. No, it's not. It hasn't gone underwater yet. Look. It's floating. Now it's a floater. Yay, we got it. 